almost feel the goddess's absence. Discounting what dwells within you, of course. Do you think some punishment would rain down from the sky if this monastery were to be destroyed? Of course not. Even if the so-called Immaculate One came back here for revenge, that would only be a result of this war, not the work of a deity. Do you hate the goddess? If it is between love and hate, then I would choose the latter. The goddess failed to properly govern this world. That is why it is necessary for Lady Edelgard to become the supreme leader of Fodlan. Those with power must use it wisely. Is that not a teaching of the Church of Seros? It's absurd to preach to others what you cannot practice yourself. Uh, sure, you're absolutely right. Yes. It is our humanity that pushes us to step up and take the lead should the need arise. That is not the case for inhuman creatures with lifespans well beyond our own. We must fight to preserve what makes us human. You are the one closest to the enemy. I wonder if you will be able to maintain your humanity to the end. You make it sound easy. I find myself trusting you. Even with my life. <laughs> I've already dedicated my life to Lady Edelgard. To throw my lot in with you is inconceivable. But, if I had two lives to give, I might devote one of them to you. We could be a couplet of birds, flying alongside the Sovereign of Black Eagles. <laughs> what? What is that shitty A support? Okay, okay, we're gonna- we're gonna rant again about Hubert and how nobody deserves to be Hubert's second choice, okay? Even in his A support with you, when you're supposed to be his one and only, he's still talking about Edelgard, and he's still talking about how he gave his life to her, or he pledged his life to her already. But if he had two lives, then yeah, he would pledge one of his lives. But if he only has one, it only belongs to Edelgard. It cannot belong to you, which is why he is a shitty romantic option.